What's up guys, it's Miss Eminem back with another video for you. So today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup look to spy and inspired by the Disney Midnight Masquerade palette. Let's get a little peek at what it looks like. I apologize for the glare. I've already used it. I used it for my Halloween costume. I was Beetlejuice and um, I was also Minnie Mouse. So I'm going to be doing a look inspired by this palette. So I'm just gonna prime my face and put my foundation on and I will be right back. Okay, so now that my face is primed and I have my foundation on, I'm going to go into the palette. And the first color that I'm going to be diving into is this red color. Oops, palette doesn't want to stay open. This red color, which is called Gaston, I think it's a reddish color. It's hard, it's gonna be hard to tell because my camera quality is really crap, but I'm gonna try to show it to you guys the best I can. That color right there. So I don't have like name brand brushes and stuff. These are literally brushes I just have at the world. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. Again, I apologize for the crappy camera quality. I'm filming on my laptop, and if you guys see me looking over to the side, I have a mirror on the side to help me figure out what I'm doing. So that was the color Gaston. Next, I'm going to do with a different brush. Now, see, this is the problem. This is where I wish I had nice brushes or more of a selection of brushes because I don't have as good a variety of brushes as I would like. So I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. small angled brush 
and I'm going to dip into this color called Mrs. Potts. It's a like gold, pretty gold color. One thing that I love about this palette is the different shades that are in here. When I was doing my Beetlejuice costume, I used I used this color, this pretty gold color, Mrs. Potts, and then I used this shimmery green color to create the um green color that uh Beetlejuice's um scars on his face look like so it's not too bad right now I think putting the red in the crease actually helped I'll probably, after putting the gold Mrs. Potts color onto my lid, I will probably just blend this whole look out. Again, like I said, I am not a makeup guru. I don't know what I'm doing, but I know that I love Disney, and I just thought it would be cool to review this palette and just do a fun look inspired by the Beauty and the Beast colors in this palette. Now maybe this isn't a look that Belle herself would wear particularly, but it's definitely not bad for someone who doesn't know what the heck she's doing. Now what I'm going to do is I am just going to take one of my fluffy brushes and just kind of like blend this. Try to get any fallout that comes about from this. So next I'm going to move on to eyeliner, but before I do that, I want to put this really pretty, and I'm also not good with shades, shade names, so I am going to put this really pretty um, glitter into the crease, into the corner of my eye right here. Give it a little bit of sparkle.
I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like glitter in the corners of my eye. I'm gonna add just a little bit down here. In my opinion, you can never have too much glitter. Or sparkles. So if you guys can see, I kind of did like a winged look with the glitter. Now with the same angled brush that I did the gold with. I'm going to go underneath my, on my waterline with the color damsel. It's really hard to tell on camera, but it's this really, really pretty light pink color. I think I went a little too crazy with the glitter, but that's okay. Now I'm going to be moving on to eyeliner and whatever lipstick I'm going to have on my lips. So for eyeliner, I'm going to be using the NYX SPE918 White Pearl Eye Pencil. And I'm just going to be putting that in my waterline. Next, I'm going to be taking the Rimmel London Ink Me Eye and Body Liner in black.
wrong. Oh, well. Good lord, I even have glitter in my hair. So next I will be moving on to my lips and then we will be doing mascara. So next for the lips, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Babes Alert. This is the lipstick on. It's a pretty, really pretty color, actually. I feel like when I'm wearing it, you can't even really tell that I'm wearing, like, lipstick. Because it's such a pretty, like, natural-looking color. Excuse me while I play with my hair. Um, Next, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a contour. Not a contour. I don't do contour. Um, highlight. I've never been one to really use highlighter, but I kind of can't tell that I have it on. Maybe it's because I've never used it before, but it doesn't seem like I have any on my face. Maybe because it's such a light color, but it doesn't. anything on my face. Like I said, my camera is crap quality, so you're probably not going to be able to see it too well. Okay, so now I'm going to do my eyelashes, and then we will have a complete look.
if you guys didn't know that I was doing like a Disney inspired look, I think personally that this could go as like and you guys know I'm a Harry Potter fan. I feel like this could be like a Gryffindor inspired makeup look. Like if you didn't know that I said it was like a Disney Beauty and the Beast inspired look, I would think it was. Oh, okay. See, if I hold the flashlight up to my face, you can see the highlight, the highlight right under my, right under my cheek. Excuse me while I fix my hair. And that is it, guys. That is the completed um, Disney Designer Collection Midnight Masquerade ColourPop makeup look. I know it's not like a traditional like Disney look. Like Belle wouldn't wear this. Belle wouldn't put glitter all over her face like I did in random spots. But for the eyeshadow aspect of it, I think I did a pretty good job because the top part of my eyeshadow is the Gaston color and then Mrs. Potts is on my lid and then I just did a crap ton of eyeliner because it got too thick and then the color on my lips is a really pretty color. It's not a crazy in your face color which I like. So that is it for my video tonight. I know it was a unusual video. I don't usually do videos like this. Um, and I was very awkward during it. So thank you for bearing with me. I have not been feeling great as of recently. So I feel like I needed this distraction to help me feel better and not be so, uh, feeling so crappy. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please feel free to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on my post notifications um, so that you get updates every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.